Hello all my nerd friends out there. This is Mr. Chill here. And I just got done reading Chainsaw Man chapter 123. And pretty crazy chapter going on. We got this new villain looking very strong and deadly. And very crazy art design. Wow. Um, wow. Um, this devil is called the Falling Devil. Basically pretends to be a chef in a way. Put some chef clothes even tore off a woman's head off, got her head, just arms everywhere, just crazy design. And her powers work by call, uh, letting you reveal, we lived your tra traumatic memories, tragic memories in your life, traumatized memories. And you know, awesome. I just feel so bad for her, man. And she. I don't even know if she had any good memories. Maybe before her parents died, maybe she had some great memories. Like she says, she turned her school dress that her mother made her uh, into a sword. That's why it was so powerful when she fought um, Yuko. Or, you know, Yuko. I think Yuko. Um, and that, I guess that was some good memories. But, damn, she lived a hard life. Because if that, that, that is true, what she lived, that she had a cat. A cat that she tried to save. And the typhoon devil that killed her mother, it survived. She went to the orphanage after that. Her parents, her parents are dead, so obviously she went to orphanages. And uh, I guess the uh, the orphanage uh, runner, the lady, the headmaster, whatever you want to call her, um, told her, "Hey, I found a good place for your cat because it, it feels like other kids have allergies. I know this is your cat. It feels like my friend has like a." A bunch of other cats will be happy with and all that stuff. Want to her let go of the cat, you know, and be friends because she wasn't making no friends. But it was like she just wanted to be with that cat and that's it, you know, and be close to him. And that's nothing too wrong, you know. Uh, that's f very close. She saved that cat and they look very close and happy right there. But she needs to see the kids and so she saw reason. She's, she trusted that lady and she says, Yeah, okay, you know, you're right. I want to be close to the other kids and. I want to make other kids feel comfortable, and um, I want my cat to be happy as well. And she gave the cat away to the uh, lady's friend to take care of. And she finds out when the kids, say, hey, I think your kid, your cat died. Like it's in the bottom of the water. And he saw, she said, no, nah, it's all right. She took him away to a place to be happy at. And basically, that they just came out saying, hey, you, it's not fair. You have a uh, a family member, and no one else does. And that was like, whoa. Like that's that's pretty dark, and it's that happened to her. Like you could see, like she kind of lived a trauma, really traumatized life, and you can see that's why she's the way he is now, very depressed and heartbroken, and like things keep happening, terrible, terrible things, over and over. Like I haven't seen her live that kind of like a great life. Maybe she does get some great moments with Yuko. She was getting a friend, and Yuko turns into a devil and try to go crazy, trying to make her life more. Uh, comfortable killing her bullies and all of a sudden she didn't want that she just wants a friend she wants uh she she was trying to she looked like she was gonna have form a relationship with denji but in her mind she was trying to push denji away because the chainsaw I mean the de war devil in her was gonna kill her kill denji um if she he start forming a bond if she if she starts forming a close bond with him a really close bond and plus he denji had to f force her out of her life, out of his life as well, because of his um, little sister. Uh, and that's uh, very traumatic, man. And this dev war devil is not just affecting, not war devil, this um, falling devil is not just affecting her, it's affecting everyone. And I wonder how, because I, I could see uh, Denji's going to be coming here. Chainsaw Man, we know Chainsaw Man's all in the way to go help and save, um, fight this devil as well. And how's Denji got a fair fight against this? devil the falling devil he's he has some trauma uh traumatized memory as well and is he really living the life you know he he has a little sister now he has dogs he's, um but he lost friends he lost uh his pet dog himself puchita and he lived a crazy life as well being controlled by gangsters and like so these two people awesome and then you kind of have a lot in common with the life they live. And I think them both working together, 
trying to beat these traumatized men. I think that's the only way he can. And not because even the war devil can't help Asa here because he lost control of her, like try to help her fight or something like that. But she's too scared. She's too traumatized. She's too, she can't control her powers right now. And maybe Denji can, but I had a feeling this, this falling devil was going to hurt Denji's in different ways we don't even know. No, like, is he really over the traumatized stuff he has? Is he really living the life that he likes? Um, you know, he wants a girlfriend too. He wants stuff to be happy. You know, these these characters, they're not asking for being the strongest, being the most powerful characters or have a million dollars. No, they want the simple things. It looks like Asa just wants friends. She, this whole story so far, we read all these chapters, it was she wants friends. She wants still does want to be alone. And she just she maybe she wants a boyfriend and maybe she just wants no more life, you know. And this war that was not letting not let her have it. But I have a feeling this war that was going to change the view. Like, this girl needs to be somewhat a little happier. He feels sorry for her. Like, this, the life that she's living right now, like, very alone. And Denji shows interest in Asa. Like, like of all, like, he offered a day and he does like Asa in a way. And that's why he was feeling depressed when his little sister um, basically told her, don't talk to her, don't get near her. Um she knows that the war that was inside of her and trying to hurt her and uh, hurt him. But I think that maybe she's a little protecting him, but just the outside world is affecting their relationship. Danji's and Asa's relationship. And I feel by the end of the story, they are going to get together because they're, they're together. They're, their story combined. They really have a lot of similarities. And I have a feeling we're going to see a big uh, jump in that relationship between them, form a kind of, some kind of friendship or Maybe a girlfriend boyfriend relationship right here in this chapter when he defeats the falling devil. Yeah, Denji's gonna come out in the next chapter. Sun's gonna happen. Maybe the war devil. Uh, uh, first, uh, I wonder how uh, they're gonna reaffect because the war devil wants to kill Denji. That's the chainsaw man right there. I wonder how that's gonna play out. You know, uh, obviously, <laughs> uh, Denji, I mean, Asa. Once the war devil finds out that's Denji, that Denji's the war devil, uh, not the war devil, that Denji's the chainsaw man. Sorry, I'm all over the place. A lot of devil talks. Um, that he's going to probably want us to get closer to um, Denji and trying to stick close to figure out, learn the weakness. He's still not strong enough. And somehow Asa needs to get a weapon powerful enough to destroy Denji as well. But, you know, Asa doesn't want that as well. In the beginning, she was trying to push Denji away because she knows that the war devil will want to use him as a weapon. But you know you can't do that now if he finds out that Denji is the chainsaw man. The last story is right here. It was a pretty interesting chapter seeing who's this big time villain now. The falling devil looks strong. I don't know how Denji and Asa could defeat this devil. You know they're going to team up. I just have a feeling they're going to team up. Um, let's see how long this plays out. Crazy design on the Falling Devil. Looks sick. Um, but I love what it's great. Chainsaw Man gets really good. The manga or the anime when he feet, um, fight these big time devils. You know, we saw in Chainsaw Man, the anime a lot. They fight these devils that are more different than the average uh, normal devil. Like the Infinity Devil. Like when you went to uh, take on the Infinity Devil, that was a strategy. You know, we had to figure out. How to find them and cut them down. This one actually looks strong. And it's going to be a challenge to defeat this falling devil. You know? And and I can't. I wonder how they're going to do it. I wonder what kind of strategy they're going to do. I wonder what they're going to conquer. What's his weakness to the falling devil. And we'll see how, how everything plays out. Between Asa and Denji. Are they going to form a relationship? Are they going to try to kill each other? If they find out each other's secrets? What's going to happen? That's what's great about the story of Chainsaw. Man. You don't know what's going to happen. Anything could happen. Hell, by the end of the story, I also could die. Uh, I don't think Chainsaw Man is going to die. It's about him, but it could be. You know, it'll be a traumatic event for Denji, you know. Maybe maybe we'll find love. Maybe we'll, he will find find a girlfriend that doesn't want to kill him. <laughs> you know, beginning power wanted to kill him. Um, Makima, that the girl he really wanted to be with, wanted to kill him, control him. Uh, so this one, maybe he won't. Maybe the war devil will change his mind about the Chainsaw Man. And wants to help Asa live a better life by the end of the story. Give me your guys' thoughts. What do you think 
of Asa and Denji's relationship? Do you want them together? You think by the end of the story of Chainsaw Man that they are going to be together or one of the characters could be dead? What's going to happen in this future of the Chainsaw Man? How long this story could take place? Because it feels like this is a romantic story in a way to me. Um, and helping each other, helping Asa to live a better life, you know, because she lived through a lot of terrible stuff after her parents died, after the Typhoon Devil killed her parents. And she lived alone, and I, I want her to find happiness. I want her to have friends. I want her to have a boyfriend like maybe Denji and be happy. You know, I feel sorry for her character, and it's sad she had to live this life. You know, I think Denji and Asa will make a good couple of me. <laughs> um to bring that excitement and lighten up of uh, asa you know we'll see how it forms so we'll see how the good this uh how good the writer writes everything out plays everything i hope everything makes sense how they fall for each other maybe by the end of this we'll see maybe the little sister will get closer to Asa as well who knows <laughs> maybe they'll form kind of like some family and the next time jump maybe part three because i feel in chainsaw man there's a lot of story to tell and we'll see what Maybe they'll get married and have kids, and there'll be another Chainsaw Man about uh, Denji being an adult, having a kid. You know, we've seen him being uh, kind of like, like an orphan, just kind of like being a loner himself. He was alone and depressed, which is Puchia, and then Puchia sacrificed him to uh, bring back Denji, gave him powers, and he found friends with Makima. Um, and that's what I think the same thing like Asa needs. Asa needs to find that friendship, that bond, to find. Someone needs to hop around, pull her out of the loneliness that Denji was. And I think Denji will do that. Den I think Denji will see a lot in Asa that he sees in himself. Before, like, like I said, Denji got pulled out by Makima. And that's why I think he still thinks of her a lot. Because um, it wasn't for her, he would have been left alone. Given that chance, he would never met Aki or Power or the other uh, devil hunter he ran with. Sucks that she killed everyone, used everyone, used him. But he had that pleasure not being alone, surrounded by friends. Maybe Denji would help Asa with that as well. Sorry it was a long one, but it was a lot to talk about. I wanted to talk about them too. They're, they're very two interesting characters in the story that I wanted to see hopefully find happiness. They both suffer a lot of traumatic stuff and they're fighting these devils that want to hurt them and destroy their lives. And I hope they succeed. You know, That's, I think, the main story of Chainsaw Man is to find happiness. That's it, you know, not uh, they really don't care about saving the millions of people or saving the world. Maybe saving the world is part of their happiness as well. But they want to find happiness. You know, Denji, he's doing all this hero thing uh, to get um, friends and uh, girlfriends and girls to like him and everything because he wants to not be alone either and find happiness out there. And same thing, also, also not doing all this, but he he wants she wants the war that were out of her. So she could maybe gain a friend and get out of this devil life stuff and find happiness, not be alone. Because it was like a couple chapters ago, she was just talking to the world over, yeah, man, maybe I'm meant to be alone. Maybe I'm meant to die and be depressed and all that stuff. I'm like, damn, she was going deep, deep in darkness. You know, hope she gets out of that hole, you know, hope she finds happiness in this life and finds friends and have her own family and love and all that stuff to make her happy. Wherever find it to make her happy. So. Hopefully, these two characters find happiness in the end of this chapter. I really do. You know, I really do. Uh, but we'll see. Chainsaw Man, we'll see how long this story continues between Asa and, and then do two great characters in the story. But give me your guys' thoughts of chapter 123, what you like about it, what you don't like about it. Um, and give me your prediction of the future of Chainsaw Man as well, what's going to happen at the end of the story. I like to do that sometimes, do some predictions. It gets right. Come, it makes you kind of happy as oh shoot we're excited to know you predict that your prediction your predictions were right so be pretty good now i want to hear your guys predicting predict sorry i couldn't talk <laughs> if any of your predictions are right as well <laughs> but thank you all for watching again i hope you all enjoy hit the like button if you do and please subscribe to my channel if you're new i love to talk about manga there's some great manga stories coming up this week black clover my hero academia uh, well, my hair didn't be falling off, but Black Clover, some other good stories. Hopefully, all everything starts picking up. I love Chainsaw Man; it gets very serious like this. Uh, some good serious moments. So, hopefully, the other manga chapters like Black Clover, um, My Hair Academia, One Piece, and um, 
Baroto's been really great, so I can't wait to run uh read some Baroto. Baroto's coming out this week too, so make sure you subscribe to my channel to get all my reviews and all those mangas. So thank you all for watching again. Hope you all have a good day and good night. Remember, stay nerdy forever. Bye.